In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Terms of Service checkbox on the checkout page that the customer would have to check to proceed with their purchase. So inside of a upsell plugin product, I'm on the product page here. On the checkout page, checkout settings, all the way at the bottom, you now have the ability to enable a Terms of Service checkbox. So by default, it'll be on no, which will show the text box. And if you want to hide it, you can simply say yes, meaning they don't need to check off a terms of service to proceed with the purchase. So if we have it set to show, what you have is down here a what you see is what you get editor. So you can put in whatever text you want here. You can hyperlink it. So let's say you wanted uh, terms and conditions to be a hyperlink to your terms and condition page, just like the WordPress editor. You would simply click on the link and you can add a link to it so add link and now that would turn into a link so if we updated this if we save this if I go ahead and grab the URL the purchase URL I'm going to paste it into a window so you can see so now at the bottom here you have this checkbox that says I have I have read and agreed to the website's terms and conditions so they would have to check this off to proceed with the payment and as we made this the hyperlink and again this can be whatever you want as much text as you want as little text as you want and if you don't want to display it you would simply come back to the checkout for the specific product hide it yes let's hide it hit update now if I refresh this page you'll see there is no terms of service checkbox here to proceed with the payment so if there is a checkbox, they have to, it's it's a required field. There's no way to not check it off to proceed. And then the nice additional feature is if you go into the orders section of the upsell plugin, if you view any of the orders, click on the customer tab right here, terms of service. It's going to show you if they checked off the agreement, if they if there was a terms of service or and if they accepted it so if there wasn't a terms of service it's just going to say not present and if there was and they checked it off it's going to say accepted this way just for any reasons you may need in the future you have the proof to show that the customer did indeed check off that they agreed to the terms of service so that's how you can add a terms of service to your products and you can do that on an individual product basis and if you have any questions let us know